I was doing a story for National Geographic magazine about squid. They're kind of the James Dean of the sea. They live fast and die young. But in that brief period that they live, they have extraordinary lives. So one of the components for this squid story was for me to go and photograph the Humboldt squid, this, this alleged sea monster in the Sea of Cortez of Mexico. You know, the local fishermen in Mexico refer to these things as Diablo Rojo, the red devils, and they're deathly afraid of them. You know, there are tales of fishermen falling over the pongas into the ocean and never being seen again. So I didn't really know what I would encounter. And these are squid that are typically six to eight feet in length. They're big animals, they're as big as I am. They have about 24,000 teeth that line their arms, and they have a mouth that's like a parrot. It's a beak like a macaw that could take a quarter-sized chunk of flesh out of their prey. My greatest fear was that several of them would gang up on me and, and grab me and swim away and I'd, uh, I'd be taken down into a thousand foot depths or something. So you can imagine just encountering one of these things, never mind hundreds of them. But that's what I dealt with. But I went out on two different missions. In both cases, I was always working at night because that's when the squid will come up into shallower water. So what I would do is I would wait and as the school began to move up during the evening, I would begin to start diving. And they would just be flashing, they sort of glow, they, they, they have this luminosity to them where they sort of flash in colors and you'd see a few arms and tentacles and then they'd be gone. And it's very spooky. At any given moment, a squid can come at you from any direction. I got grabbed a couple of times. There was a couple of evenings once when I was hanging on a line and just waiting for something to happen, and I felt my arm just get towed out from my side. It had come in and grabbed my camera housing and sort of swam off with me attached, and I, I had to kind of wrestle it back from them. Another couple of times where they sort of tested me, where they would flail out their arms and, and sort of, you know, come at me, and I just fend them off with my camera housing. But to see these animals and see them changing colors, they go from white to bright red to, you know, obviously shades in between. They would expel clouds of ink, which, you know, was a defense mechanism. It was, it was quite amazing, really, really a special experience.